Hi everybody and welcome, welcome, welcome to Tasty Talk and Bull Crap Walks, y'all. Let's start off by giving this video a thumbs up, leaving a comment down below, and if you are not subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, and hit always, and be sure to come back for another video. Watch some more videos after this one, y'all. So, I want to give the spotlight to the person that got eliminated on Ready to Love this week. And, unfortunately, that was Naya, the beautiful, the sexy, the stunning, the always representing Houston, Naya. Y'all, leave in the comments bar below if y'all was disappointed that Naya got um, sent home this week. Okay, y'all, so... A little back history about Ready to Love. So they have couples coming from Houston, Texas in this season. This is season three. And uh, yeah, so the, cute, the couples are mingling, getting to know each other. And every week someone gets eliminated. Usually one woman gets eliminated one week. The next week a man gets eliminated. So the man that Naya was dating or entertaining got eliminated last week uh she pretty much had a lot to do with him getting voted off because she no longer was interested in him and when an individual has someone that is no longer interested in them then they pretty much get eliminated because there's no one interested in dating them so chris got eliminated last week unfortunately for naya she and Chris at the same time, they did not make any connections with anyone else. They were kind of just into each other and they pretty di much didn't mingle with anyone else or make any connections with anyone else. So once Chris got eliminated, that kind of left Naya in a position where she hadn't made any previous connections with anyone. And on top of that, a lot of the gentlemen felt like she jaded uh Chris they felt like him answering one question about the finances and saying that he would split everything down the middle wasn't enough reason for her to not be interested in him but if she wasn't really interested in him to begin with and was just giving him a chance to see if he could possibly be a good fit for her and then he answered a question like that wrong. That probably was a deal breaker for her, which it was. So a lot of the gentlemen didn't take it too lightly that she just wasn't interested in him no more after that. So when it came down to them deciding who would go home this week, unfortunately, they picked Naya. Now, when Naya sat down, I think his name is Rashid. He offered her a glass of wine she's stunning she's beautiful she said off the bat she had nothing but good things to say about all of the gentlemen there on ready to love and then Rashid pretend, uh, proceeded to let her know that she has made a lasting impression on the guys but she did not make a lasting connection with anyone and she immediately got up she stormed out she told Rashid to tell it to the couch baby and she left him sitting there. <laughs> she left Rashid sitting there. Rashid started sipping on his wine and drinking it and was like, this is crazy. This is some foolishness. So pretty much, I guess she felt jaded. I guess she felt like that she was the catch. She was the bum diggity and someone should have been interested in her. But unfortunately for Naya, a lot of the gentlemen had already made connections with the other women. And it's kind of like too late in the game for them to jeopardize what they have going on. So they let her go. Her response to them letting her go was, to me, kind of petty. It, I don't know. I mean, sometimes when you put yourself on a pedestal and you're the only one that put yourself on a pedestal, it could pretty much hurt your feelings when you get let down and you think you're better than everybody else or you thought you were a better catch than maybe some of the other women. 
So I do feel like Naya is a beautiful woman. Uh, I feel like that she will find true love somewhere. Uh, and unfortunately, it wasn't on the show, but that's not always a bad thing because your guy wasn't there. Uh, if it don't fit, don't force it. And, you know, it's not love is not by any means necessary. Uh, the guy that is for you, Naya, I think he's going to find you. I think you will be happy uh, in the very near future. Uh, I just would, you know, the way you walk away from something means a lot. And we all have to learn how to stay cool here in this. I've had my share of moments that I am not proud of. So I think we all need to learn how to, you know, make sure we're representing who we are even when we're walking away because you're beautiful, girl, and you deserved a beautiful exit as well. So I do think that Naya deserves a, uh, a better exit. I wonder if she regrets the way that she walked away or responded responded i wonder if she had it to do all over again would she do it differently but uh unfortunately for naya she uh was sent home i do think that something wonderful and beautiful and exciting awaits her i hope that someone casts her in another show because she's beautiful she has beautiful energy uh, one thing that I would recommend her not doing in the future when you first get a meet a guy Don't let them know off the bat that you've had miscarriages And I would just take that slow. Everybody don't need to know all your business up front uh, Make sure that somebody that is worthy of your love and you've already connected with on a deeper level Where they deserve to know that intimate part of your life but disclosing that to somebody that ain't going to even get past the second or third date, they didn't need to know that about you. Uh, so, you guys, let me know what y'all think about Naya going home. Uh, hopefully, there is a guy out there that watched this show and like, wow, that's a beautiful woman. That's somebody I would like to get to know. That's somebody I think I need to make my wifey. And hopefully from here... She will have a better opportunity to meet somebody that's more um, compatible with her. Because I do think that Chris and herself, I personally didn't like them together as a couple. So I don't think she lost anything. It was a good experience for her. She got some free press. And, you know, she's a hairstylist here in Houston. Her hair looked beautiful. She was on fleek. So hopefully she gets some more business out of this. You know, as far as I'm concerned, Naya, it's a win-win um, because as long as you don't, en you didn't end up in a relationship with somebody that it wasn't meant to be, then you won because you left the door open for somebody else who is actually worthy and capable of loving you. So that's going to be it for me, you guys. If y'all have any other shows that y'all want me to review any other news topic, anything else that's going on in the news and you would like for me to let, uh, I still haven't thought of a name for you guys. So if you guys have a name that you would like for me to start calling you guys, please let me know. I have a few suggestions from several of you guys and I'm kind of narrowing it down. But if anybody else got any suggestions, leave it in the comment bar below. So let's get it on and popping in the comments talk to each other in the comments leave a comment don't forget to press the subscribe button turn on a notification bell and hit always when you do that and make sure you come back for another video and if you got time then guess what you can watch some more videos right now i'm gonna put one over there to the right to the right to the left to the left click on one of them videos if you ain't watched them already and let's enjoy our night bye now talk to you guys later thanks for watching